Hey everybody, it's Matt from Direwolf here, and with Dune Imperium Uprising on the way, we're going to be answering the question that every good Benny Gesserit sister is asking, what's in the box? So, let's take a look. Perhaps unsur unsurprisingly, the first thing in the box is in fact the rule book. This will tell you everything you need to know about what's coming in Dune Imperium Uprising. There's also a couple of additional rules references in here. There's a board space guide that shows off some specific rules and FAQ style uh, answers to how each space on the board works. There are rules for solo and two player games that we'll be talking about more a little bit later in the pre-order period. And of course, one of the big features coming in Uprising, six player games and how those work. There are also some additional components for six player games that we will take a look at a little bit today. Uh, and a reminder to get Dune Imperium Digital, which is currently available for wishlisting on Steam. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the game board. So one of the big things you'll notice is for the first time, a Dune Imperium game board is in fact double-sided. That's to support uh, the six-player mode coming in here, along with a couple of additional sideboards uh, that go into six-player mode and some additional tokens that you can use for that. Then, of course, we've got the leaders. All nine leaders that are new in Uprising, leading off with Mahdib. We've got some cards. What do we got here? Uh, signet rings, we've got starter decks. Then down here, we get into the uh, six player starter decks with unique starter decks for both Paul and the Emperor. Then the new cards for the Imperium, oh, uh, Prepare the Way, always available, and the Spice Must Flow, making a return. Uh, 69 new cards available for the Imperium row to bring all of your strategies to fruition. We've got a bunch of components. We've got the individual player colors. We've got Solari, Spice, and Water. Uh, we've also got some new components that are for use in uh, six player mode where Paul, uh, Madib, and the Emperor have their own components that go into sending agents. Then we've got the worms, worm meeples, and these really nice uh, worm sculpts, depending on whether or not you want to be playing with the deluxe upgrade pack. Here we've got a set of contract tiles. If you haven't seen uh, the design diary on contracts and how those work, you should check that out. It's one of the really exciting new parts of Uprising. Uh, in here, we've got maker hooks and faction alliance tokens. Maker hooks, you'll need to go and collect one of these in order to start summoning sandworms. But in order to bring the sandworms into battle, in some battles, you'll need to have blown up the shield wall, which then uh, will give you access. There's a first player marker. And what else have we got here? We've got a whole new set of intrigue cards. Unexpected allies spend two water to blow the shield wall and summon a worm. Pretty good. Uh, a bunch of new entry cards on the way. And a whole new set of conflicts. So the same Conflict 1, Conflict 2, Conflict 3 system that you've seen before in Dune Imperium is now here. Uh, finally, we've got some objective cards uh, that will, you'll start the game with one of these and they will pair with the icons on other uh, conflict cards that you win to provide additional victory points. Finally, the last things we have in the box are uh, support for solo and two player mode. We'll have more to come on that, including uh, unique leader adaptations for play with House Hagal and an updated House Hagal deck itself. So that's what we've got. Dune Imperium Uprising is available for pre-order now and will be in your friendly local game store coming in November. Uh, be sure to check it out.